You expect us to keep doing this over and over and over again. New Yorkers are fed up of hearing empty promises from politicians. The son of one of the victims from Buffalo's mass shooting crying as he expresses his disappointment. People we elect and trust in offices around this country do their best not to protect us. Some are saying this tragedy shows the need for more gun laws. These weapons that are not necessary, now, they don't need to be on the street. We're not at war. While others point to the fact that New York State already has some of the most restrictive gun laws in the country. We've already passed those laws. What about the person, the fact that what he had done before, how was that reacted to? How did he get the gun? Police report the Buffalo shooting suspect was evaluated after making a threat at his high school in 2021. If this had been reported, he wouldn't have been able to buy a firearm. And then henceforth, he probably wouldn't have been able to shoot the people in Buffalo as he did. He's referring to New York's 2019 red flag gun protection law, which prevents individuals who show signs of being a threat to others from possessing any kind of firearm. There would be an exception put by their name and they wouldn't be approved for uh, for purchase of a firearm. It is not clear from the New York State Police that the 2021 incident involved a threat that would have triggered the red flag law. Political experts say this issue is bigger than gun laws. It's always what politicians do. Oh, more gun laws. Well, we've done a lot of gun laws, and it's not what stops a person that is motivated like this individual was with hatred. I think this is a real wake-up call to uh, the problem of racial uh, hatred and violence in the country that we're not addressing. This is not just about guns. Legislation or not, this tragic event has affected all New Yorkers. I felt very safe in church. I don't anymore. In the grocery store, I don't anymore because what happened in Buffalo could happen in Elmira, New York. So it, it is not like we're so far removed from this. For 18 News, I'm Rhea Chaw.